Hey, Josh. Uh, I just realized, I just saw your qu uh, question on Facebook, and uh, I just thought I'd make a video uh, explaining it, just because I couldn't say it all in text. Uh, so anyways, here's, so what you're trying to look for is something called a, um, a spotlight. Uh, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to actually import your image, much like an image plane in Maya. Uh, let's see here. So I'm just pulling up a really fast image just to show you. Um, here, I'm going to pull up this, this critter I made a while ago. Um, so what, what, I, what you do is after you import the image, it adds it to your swatches right here. So you click on the image, and then you push Add to Spotlight. And, uh, you know, this image shows up right here. By the way, I'm running um, ZBrush 4R5 and not um, regular 4. But uh, I believe the Spotlight settings and changes have not changed in any way. So anyways, uh, if, you put, if you've pushed Z, it makes the menu disappear. So you just use Z to make the menu appear and disappear. Um, but you'll have a bunch of different options here. You can scale, whatnot. Um, but one of the other options that you were talking about is the opacity located right here. So you'll be able to actually play around with the opacity and you know move it around as such. So that way you can sort of lock in on your image plane and uh, manipulate it. So I hope that explains everything. If you have any questions, let me know. I figured this is the fastest way to do it. Uh, hopefully you didn't hate listening to my voice. Anyways, have a good one. Keep sculpting.